I'm John Champion, alongside me is Jim Beglin, and we're enjoying the atmosphere inside the unique stadium that is Wembley. Hi John, I'm really glad to be here. Let's hope these teams serve up a real cracker. And here we have Real Madrid against Barcelona. And the sound of the UEFA Champions League anthem. A perfect addition to an already electric atmosphere. Barcelona considered by many to be the ultimate football club. And you know that the supporters own and operate the club. And that, that's key, isn't it, in the philosophy? Absolutely. I mean, they're one of the most successful clubs in Spain's history and they're very proud of that tradition. Let's see how both these teams will line up. We're now all set. Looking to carve open the defence. Here is Sergio Busquets. He's got in. Iniesta on the ball. Here's a chance to get a cross in. Given away a free kick in a dangerous area, it could be costly. Barcelona with a free kick. Sergio Busquets. Sergio Busquets. And Marcelo. 15 minutes played. Now possibility down the flank. And he'll drive it here. Saved by the crossbar. Saved by the crossbar. Well, it looked like that was going to be a certain goal. It just goes to show you in this game, fine margins, all the difference. Jordi Alba, here's Iniesta, Cesc Fabregas, Messi's cross, and that ball picked up by the keeper. Got it. And Modric. It's created a counter-attack for them. The ball is with Messi. Now he's ready for a shot. Missed time challenge. Looked worse than it was. Free kick. And that is a yellow card. I think he knew it was coming too as soon as he went in for the tackle. He's put him under pressure now. You just can't go around diving in for challenges like that. Barcelona with a free kick. And he'll go direct! Oh, so close! Oh, listen, to come that close is a really, really good attempt. And judging by the crowd's reaction, they thought he'd done enough too. Now Sergio Ramos. Here's Pepe. 
Arbeloa. It's on for him. This is very pleasing on the eye. The ball's with Cesc Fabregas. Plays it through. That is offside. Just when they had a chance to take the lead, or so they thought. Tete. Arbeloa. Di Maria. Benzema. Cristiano Ronaldo. Strikes it. Well, that was really close, but you get nothing for being close. Or maybe he just cut across the shot slightly and that made it track the wrong side of the post, but that's very unlucky. Here's Cristiano Ronaldo. Puyol. Half time is now upon us. Oh, this has been such a disappointing spectacle. The keepers haven't been worked nearly enough. It's nil nil, so nothing to separate them. Second half underway now. Real Madrid against Barcelona. Di Maria tries to slide it past the defence. It's come through to him nicely. Yeah, it's all very easy on the eye, but I think they're just missing something a little more incisive now to complement some very good build-up play. He gets his shot away. And the rebound. And they escape imminent danger. Modric. Cristiano Ronaldo. And it's taken with some style. They finally get their breakthrough in the second half. And that goal just shows you the real quality in this team. Yeah, and I don't mind admitting that this is my kind of football. Good passing and movement with the right tempo and purpose. It's really enjoyable. So we resume at 1-0. Well, when you look around the dressing room and think, who can I depend on? This is the guy for me. He's such a wonderful technician. <laughs> 60 minutes on the clock. Chance. Off he goes. Oh, that was a fine solo effort. Well, he tried to go it alone and he wasn't too far away from pulling it off either. Everything was there apart from the finish. Here's Sergio Ramos. Now Sergio Ramos. Marcelo. He plays it through, through the middle he goes. Cristiano Ronaldo's there. Nearly, but in football terms, nearly is nowhere. And that is one very relieved man between the sticks. There was no way he was going to get to that, and he knows it.
manager's going to throw on two new players. Well, the manager's made the change, but he knows he really should have done a lot better here today. Cesc Fabregas, Iniesta. And he hits it in towards the middle. Here's Di Maria. We've reached the last 15 minutes of the game. Good opportunity for a cross here. Could be a chance now. Across. Listen, holding on to the ball like that is great, but they've got to produce more urgency in it, and now they've got to get behind it again. The ball's with Kaka. Launches it towards the far post. Puts it away. They've taken a giant leap towards winning this game. A gem of a cross and a straightforward header. Yeah, a runner from midfield is always difficult to stop, but he showed great drive and determination to get his head on that. Surely they have now sealed their victory. Well, I think if they're going to have any hope from here, they'll need to see their more experienced lads step up to the plate now. Plays this forward. A mistimed lunge there, easy for the ref. Free kick. The referee shows him the yellow card. Didn't go for the ball, just took the player out. Might consider himself a tad lucky not to see red. Barcelona with a free kick. He knocks it in. He scuffed his clearance there. Long pass forward. He has blown for full time now. They come away with the win here after some tremendous work in every department, really. Such a well-deserved result, and their manager will be very proud of them. Many thanks to Jim, and with that, we leave tonight's broadcast.